This is part B of the lab, and we're doing step number six. I'll be combining sodium chloride and sand on a piece of paper. I'm gonna put them on this piece of black paper right here, and I'm going to take a little salt and a little sand. You are um, directed to take a look and see what this looks like. Whoopsie, almost knocked my camera over. There it is mixed up a little bit. You can see what it looks like. We're asked to effect, test the effect of a magnet. Of course, a magnet is not going to affect this. Then we're going to place this in a beaker with some water. And I'm going to cheat and pull the cap off this water and just pour some in. And that's plenty. Then I'm going to stir this with this stir rod and a rubber policeman on top. I'm giving you a little equipment look here. This is such a satisfying sound when the room is full of students doing this. I miss that. Okay. Now that's, a, that's all mixed up here. Next, we're going to prepare a filter. This is a piece of filter paper, and we prepare a piece of a filter like this. We fold it in half, fold it in half a second time. We open it so that there's one piece of filter paper on one side and three on the other. Place it into our filter. I usually hold it down, make it stay in its spot by giving, getting it damp. I don't have my cap on here tight by giving it a little squirt of water. And then we put it in our ring. My ring isn't big enough, so I brought a clay triangle over, and I'm gonna get this a little smaller, or a little lower, not smaller. And I also need, sorry about that. We'll collect it in this Erlenmeyer flask, Erlenmeyer. So I'm gonna get this down so it doesn't drip all over. Then I'm going to pour this into my filter. I probably won't let the whole thing filter because although my filter paper ap appears to be going pretty quickly, that's good. I'm going to have to sort of get in front of this because I'm at sort of an odd angle, but I'll try to leave my camera open. I'm going to try to wash out much of my sand here. And if you had to guess right now what's going to happen, um, you're probably going to guess that something will stay on the filter and something will go through the filter. Obviously, the water that I'm adding is going through the filter. And I'm going to grab, we've got enough of the filtrate now. The filtrate is what goes through the filter. We've got enough. I'm gonna let this take a look at what's in here right now. You can see what's on the filter. I'm going to let this continue to drain into this high level lab equipment, this plastic cup. And we're going to consider with part, with the rest of this. So I have filtrate in here. It looks exactly like water, and we know that water is part of this. We are going to put some water into an evaporating dish. This is an evaporating dish. We're going to put some of this filtrate into our evaporating dish. And we're going to place the dish. You can see, if you can see what's in there, it looks just exactly like water. We're gonna place the, this wire gauze. I gotta make sure this is high enough. It is not, so I'm gonna get this about so high. Okay, and I'm gonna put this on here. I don't usually do that till later because I don't wanna accidentally knock it over. What I'm gonna do now is light the burner. 
I'm gonna light the burner using this striker. Let's see if I can get it over here. Can't see it yet. There. So I'm gonna turn the gas on way back over here. You'll hear it. And here I'm gonna light it. Do I not have gas? I just turned my gas on a moment ago, so I don't, might take a moment to get the air through the lines. There, we've got a little bit going here. I don't know if you can see that flame. Yeah, you can see it. It's probably good enough for what we need. I don't love this flame right now. I'll have to play with it a little bit. There, we've got a little bit better flame. So I'm gonna set this up here. Try to set it so it doesn't look like it's gonna go crashing to the ground, so it's somewhat stable. Okay, then I'm going to place this under and we're going to let this evaporate. I just had a thought, if I was going to do this um, again, I would have had one that I'd let finish evaporating instead of making you watch this. If you were in the lab right now, I would be telling you to use this time to work on your data tables. Let me look and see if there's anything else I can do here. Oh, I don't know if I have that second part with me. Perhaps I can. Um, if I can find my spare piece of magnesium. I've got a little bit of magnesium. I've got to walk around to the other side of the table. <clears throat> These are both tiny, tiny little pieces of magnesium. And you, I'll show you. Usually I have much larger, and I've got this in another video, but you can see this tiny little piece of magnesium. This is boiling rapidly. So I'm just gonna light this on fire. And this is for part, it must be, I wonder if it's the third part. I don't have that over here. Lighting magnesium on fire, whatever part that is. It's just sort of fun. So watch it. And that was a tiny little piece. But I do need that. I do need some burnt magnesium for another part of the lab. So I'm going to get myself another ashing dish. Burn this a little bit more just in case. I didn't get it all. Because I need the combustion product for another part of the lab. Ooh, that had a bunch that didn't burn that. So we have a part where we're going to burn the combustion product. There, very nice. Now I'm going to see if I can carefully move my iPad to show you what's happening inside here. And you can see bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. I'm trying to quote Shakespeare, but I don't remember what it is. So, you know, boiling, yes, happening right here. Were you in person, you would be doing this. I use this lab as my introductory activity to lab safety. If you can see me, I don't know where my camera is, so I can't see, but I've got my goggles on. This will go pretty quickly now. Again, I have all these great ideas. If you're bored of watching this, I'm gonna let it go to the end. Go to about like 30 seconds before the end of it and then you don't have to watch the rest. But it'll go pretty quickly. This is one hot flame. I don't know if you can tell, it's super hot. Okay. One thing that we'll notice, 
and I'm sure you can hear this, this is gonna start to sputter and sputter and sputter. And if we look at the counters, we'll see that our counter, counter will start getting a little bit of white stuff on there. Oh, now I don't know if you can see it spattering. I really don't want to hold my iPad too close to it right now because it's spattering, so I'm not gonna give you a better look. But listen, can you hear it? So it's getting very close. As soon as the last bubbles are gone, I'll shut this off. So there's something in here besides water. We started out with a beaker containing water, sand, and table salt, NACL. We stirred it up and poured it through the filter. Oh, I should be showing you what's on the filter. Good thing we remembered that. Don't try this trick at home. There's the filter. So not much sand came through, like zero sand came through. And the sand remained on the filter. And you can see here's the Erlenmeyer that we had the filtrate in. There's absolutely no sand in here whatsoever. Okay, we're getting close now. I would say that this is gonna take about another 90 seconds. I'm gonna see if I can get up here a little bit. You can see it boiling a little bit there. And this goes. Okay, there it goes. There it goes. I'm gonna reach around and shut my burner off. And I'm going to bring this up here. I'm going to show you the inside of our evaporating dish. Oh my gosh, what the heck could that be? This is very hot right now, but let me see if I can force this off a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can shake out, this would start my paper on fire if I get it too close to, I'm gonna put it on this. This is probably safer. Can you see what I'm doing? And then I'll put this on black paper so you can see it better. Oh my gosh, what could that possibly be? That's what's in our evaporating dish. Okay. Finally, we're done with this part.